Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make a simple arrangement using limited materials. And uh, I really wanted to use this lovely glass container, but the real reason I'm making this uh, arrangement is that I was weeding in the garden and I accidentally hoed off a bit of canna lily, which is such a shame. So we're going to use this, and um, my other thing that I've got is I've got some beautiful dahlias and uh, we've got some nice varieties there. So the first thing we need to do is we need to think about how we're going to support the flowers within our container. It's quite wide so we could have everything just kind of balanced but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit and use some of this aluminium wire and this is perfect because you can just scrunch it up and get a little bit of a structure that you can place into your vase. So when we insert our stems, this is just going to be perfect for holding that. The other thing we need as well is we need some water. So we'll put that in just now. The great thing with the aluminium wire is it gives you the support, it's nice and flexible, but we can also reuse it, which is really, really good. So the first thing I want to do is really place our canna lily and um, I want it to just sit down into our vase. So we've got this shape and this is kind of echoed in this leaf, which is quite nice. So we'll start with our canna lily and uh, the other thing that I've got is I've got these papyrus so this is um, a grass really and uh, the thing that I like about this is the straight stems so I want to use these to create a bit of a bit of a shape so I'm not really worried about the tops actually so we can actually get rid of them. Um, I want to use these straight stems. Quite like that, like that. And these are so flexible, they're so useful. So again, I'll just take off the top. And uh, they're actually very easy to grow, the papyrus. You can quite easily just pop that into water and it will just start to grow. So we're beginning to build up a bit of an interesting structure and these lines are giving us a contrast to the roundness of our container. So we can work on that and make that as much or as little as we want actually. And that's the great thing with these wires inside, is that they're holding these stems really nice and secure. So again, I want... this one just to come down. And I can even use like a little, little piece of wire just to Go around that. And just hold those two together. So we've created a structure for our flowers. And um, I think actually what we probably need is just to go backwards a little bit as well. Yeah, having this piece go through the back is giving us a little bit of depth, which is quite interesting as well. So now we can look at our flowers. So I picked a couple of different varieties and I'm not, I wasn't decided which one to do, but both beautiful dahlias. And I have to say, I absolutely love this one. And we can just tuck that down into our design. And I've 
actually got two. So what we'll do is we'll put one through the back as well. And that gives us, again, a bit of depth where you catch sight of that. So, personally, I don't think it needs any more. So we'll save them for a different arrangement. Now, it is possible that you could use these in it if you like. And uh, quite a nice little idea with these is just to trim them and cut them short. And you can get little interesting pieces. But I really like the simplicity of this. So we're going to just stop at that and then find the perfect place to put this arrangement. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, click here to subscribe and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye.